Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today our topic is very simple and we need to learn how to answer those who try uh, to insult Jesus. You see, Muslims always they claim that there are people who love Jesus and they respect Jesus, even they say Jesus peace upon him. And this is something always we hear. <clears throat> but in fact, I never saw anyone insult Jesus as much as the Muslims do. And this is what we prove here every day. Jesus and other names, the Muslim, they used them for one agenda. It just to worship one man. His name is Muhammad. The purpose of Islam is not to approve Jesus or disapprove. The purpose of Islam is to make Muhammad God. It's not to approve Abraham or not to approve. Those are names just to use for the sake of the agenda. Muhammad, he came in a time where, you know, Christianity is widespread and around him there is Jews so he knew that those names he need them and he used them that's all but today we will show you a Muslim who made a comment and as usual we always show you and teach you how to answer Muslims from their own comment God he has blood Muhammad uh, Mustaz El Sayyid is saying God, but yet he has blood? Well, your God, Allah, have a shin, but obviously there's no blood there. I think he have uh, <laughs> coconut oil. I mean, when you Muslims, you believe that your God, Allah, is a physical being. How even you can complain that your God is, not, is better? I mean, when you say that God has a blood, your God has what? Olive oil? car oil, gas, as long as you believe that he is a physical being. <clears throat> and here not right away we notice the hypocrisy of this cult. They don't apply the same question they ask us about our God, they, they don't apply it for their God. Then he says, God had a breastfeeding when he was a baby. Well, I don't know, maybe you should show me how he got the breastfeeding, but God who make breastfeeding for adult is God. And Jesus, because he have a breastfeeding according to you, is a bad person or he is not qualified to be God. We have a God, his name is Allah or Akka Muhammad, who <clears throat> order Muslim women to do breastfeeding for adult. And this is the God who has no blood. Remember, Obviously, he have no blood. You know, in Arabic we say, uh, which means he have no shame. What kind of God he order women and they are believers to uh, breastfeed an adult man who is a stranger? To the point even Aisha, anyone want to enter upon her, any man he want to enter into Aisha, he have to admit to one of her sister or nieces and she have to suckle him from her breast. So your God, for sure he is God. Not like Jesus. According to you, Jesus, he did the breastfeeding from his mother. How he can be God? But Allah must be God. Otherwise, how he come with such a beautiful idea that a man like me, he can go to a woman like uh, your wife and uh, she will give me her breast and I will suck at it. And by doing that, I can sit with her. I mean, look, look at the logic. I suck at her breast so I can sit with her. Already I got her. So, as you see here, the hypocrisy is amazing. You see, the Muslims, in order to disqualify Jesus from being the good of good, they say things which is very stupid and very naive. So if Jesus cannot be God for breastfeeding, as you claim, and by the way, can you show me where it says the breastfeeding, as you claim? I mean, you Muslims, you, you, you say things. I want to see that because I want to say, where you Muslims, you get your source from? Where do you get your source from? That uh, Mary, she breastfeeding for Jesus. I, I don't, I'm not saying this does not happen. I'm saying, where do you get this from? 
But if it's not written there, I mean, it looked like he was there, and uh, we do not know. But as you see, we have a God who you worship, ordering your mother to give her breast to the taxi driver before she can get in the car. Your mother and the taxi driver, they will go in the back seat, and he have to suckle her ten different times in ten different days before she can go with him in the car. This is how embarrassing Islam is. Now we go to number two. He eat and he drink and he sleep and he go to the bathroom. Well, I, wa I want you to show me where you Muslims, you get like, okay, uh, did the Muslim he see Jesus go into the bathroom? Where do you get this from? I want to see it. Uh, maybe you were there too. Uh, but I can show you your prophet teaching the Muslims how to do poo poo, and they sit around him when he's doing it. If you can show me the same, then you are my hero. And if God he drink and he sleep, but isn't it the Bible says when Jesus was asleep in the middle of the storm, still he controlled the storm, still he controlled the sea? <clears throat> Isn't it this is the same Jesus? Here we go, he's asleep. Your God, he never sleep. Your God, he never sleep. But your God, he could not do anything to Muhammad or to anyone else. You Muslims, even when you pray, when you are sick, you pray to Jesus, you don't pray to Allah. Most of the Christians in the Middle East knew that Muslims, they make a lot of donation to churches. Why? Because when they get ill, in Arabic we call it another or another one, they make nudur, which means they, 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 uh, uh, they supplicate to Jesus saying, if you recover me, I'm going to donate, etc. money from my money to this church. Nobody pray for the God of Muhammad. <clears throat> then he says, Jesus, he fought when his stomach is full of gas. I think the only one is farting is here because you have to show us reference. However, I can show you your prophet teaching, amazing teaching given to him to, by Allah about farting. And I'm not surprised really because you are talking about farting because this is a very, the core teaching of Muhammad. If I type the word farting in the hadith, just type it. I'm not going to type anything. I just type the word fart. Look how many hadith your prophet is making a lecturer about farting. <clears throat> as an example, not necessarily this one, but as an example, your prophet saying that when you Muslims you pray, shaitan he start farting. Now for sure, that's mean your prophet he have a PhD in farting and he have a very special skills to hear someone, nobody can hear it because only one can hear that fart is your prophet. Do you see it? And you're a prophet, he taught you that if you do fart when you are praying, don't leave the prayer unless you hear it and you smell it. <clears throat> Is that correct? Let us read this hadith, which is fantastic. The knowledge of the Prophet of God, who have a special PhD in farting. Allah Messenger says, when one of you does not cease to be in the Salat as long he is waiting for it, and the angel do not cease praying for one of you as long you re he remains in the mosque, saying, Allah forgive me, O Allah have mercy upon him, as long he does not commit farting. Do you see it? Now how Muhammad he learned that if he commit farting, Allah will not listen to his message. Obviously Muhammad he was doing that in the mosque. 
right? And why, by the way, why Allah will not accept your prayer if you fart? Do you think your prayer is carried on with the farting in one box? I mean, Allah supposedly in the seven galaxy, beyond the seven seas, and the four rivers, which we, between, and one of them is Euphrates and the Nile River. So how your fart will go there? <clears throat> hmm? We go to point number three, four, whatever it is. You see, always the answer of the Muslims get them busted from their own religion. God, he have no idea. He have no idea about the hour. Well, that's very stupid of you to say because the same chapter you are trying to quote for me, Jesus says nobody knows the hour save the Father. You just confess that Jesus saying that he, the God is his Father. In the same time, you agreed According to you, that Jesus, he do not know the hour, that's mean Muhammad is a liar. You agreed with yourself, not with me. If we go in the Quran, we will find Muhammad saying the following. This is your book, your yellow pages. According to your prophet saying, that Jesus he knew the unseen and I bring the dead to life by Allah leave and I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your houses and judgment day is no different it is unseen this is unseen how Jesus know the unseen the Quran confirmed that nobody knows the unseen save Allah. But as you see here, Jesus, he knew the unseen. Actually, in one of the questions here, he said, or the insult, he said, Jesus, he did not know the season for the fruit. Jesus, he did not know the season for the fruit. Well, you are a liar. If you go and read the verse there, it doesn't say he did not know the season. It says the opposite. It says he ordered the tree to get, he wanted, he wanted fruit from the tree, but yet it's not season yet. And then he cursed the trees. So we will learn as a Christians that we cannot say to the Lord, it's not my time. Even if it was a tree, the tree will be cursed and will be cut and will die and will be cut and thrown in the fire. So what Jesus was doing there. Is not showing he cannot know the fruit. Do you ask yourself how he cursed the tree and the tree die immediately? We have a tree here in the backyard. We keep cutting it off, it coming, coming. Keep cutting off, it kept coming. Keep it off. You know, Jesus, he say you die, the tree, the tree is dead. So here you see the hypocrisy of the Muslims. But as you see, by saying that, you expose your prophet to be a big fat liar. Why? Because you claim that Jesus did not know even the season of the fruits. But yet the Quran says to you, Jesus, he knew the unseen. He knew even what you had in your houses. So either one of you is lying, either Allah and Muhammad or you. For sure, it is not you. You are the decent Muhammadan and Muhammad is the big fat liar. And then <clears throat> uh, the list continue. So if anyone does the normal human behavior, he become God. <laughs> I mean, look how Muslims, they help us to get themselves busted. Well, name, name for me a normal human behavior, Jesus, he have. Like what? As an example, you just admitted that your God is a big fat liar. Is it normal human behavior that a child he will speak when he is a baby? As long as you complain about God being a baby? Isn't it this is your God saying? Chapter 3, verse number 46. Hmm? Chapter 5, verse 110. All of them, they are saying the same. Chapter 19, verse number 29 and 30. When the Jews, they came to Mary, according to the Quran story, and they said to her, Oh, you were not a whore. You know, oh, sister of Aaron, because the stupid Muhammad, you think Mary is, a, is the same Maryam, is a sister of Aaron. So 
You were not a whore. And look at the filthy language. He said, وَمَا كَانَتْ أُمِّكِ بَغِيَّةً Your mother was not a whore. Which means, according to the Quran, the Jews accused Mary to be a whore. She pointed her hand at the baby in the cradle. Remember, you are the one who says to us, <laughs> God is a baby. <laughs> and you are the one who says to us, <laughs> so anyone have a normal human behavior who become God. Look at this. This is the normal behavior you are quoting for me, that Jesus in the cradle, speaking, saying, I am a slave of Allah, has given me the scriptures and made the prophet. So Jesus, he have a scriptures when he was a baby. Is that a normal behavior of a human? Your prophet, he was 40 years old when the angel came to him first time and he squeezed him three times and no mayonnaise come out. That is not normal behavior. Do you see how silly what you just said? You just proved to us that Quran is false because you are saying to us that everything about Jesus is normal. When the Quran says Jesus is a son of no man, this is why here they are questioning her how you know how you get a, how you get a child nothing about Jesus is normal she said how I can have a son when no man has touched me and you are saying to us in your false funny stupid statement so anyone who have a normal human behavior he become a god here you see the hypocrisy and the dumb cult of Muhammadan they are so confused they do not know how to answer us and each time they make poo, poo we bring it back to them. Am I heard, guys? <clears throat> Is everything coming good? Do you see how easy to answer them? Where Jesus, he have a normal behavior in anything. The only person in the world who have mother, but he have no father. I challenge the Muslim to tell me why. Is that normal? No. The only one, according to the Quran, who is born, but yet he do not need someone to come and teach him about God. He is born as a child, but he is a prophet in the same moment he is born. How he got the knowledge? Where he got the knowledge? If Allah, if you're not telling me that Allah, he taught him how to speak. Where he taught him where to speak, how to speak? Where Allah, he gave him the scriptures. Muhammad took him more than 20 years to receive the scriptures. Jesus is not born yet, and yet he had the scriptures. You answer me. You tell me how. Silence me. Answer me. Here we go. We brought for you Mimi Hijab. What do you want more? Any Muslim have an idea how Jesus, he learned the scriptures and when? Which school he went to? Who taught him how to speak? How he speak Hebrew? He is just born. You see, I'm just using what you have in your book, not in my book. So, if you are saying that Jesus is just a normal human being, well, that's meaning your God is a big fat liar.